Do you find that it's difficult to store your pastel, charcoal or graphite drawings without smudging them or having them rub off onto other drawings? Or you may have found a really great way of storing them but now you can't access them easily to take them out when you sell one or you want to frame it or just show people your portfolio? I have had all of these problems as well so over the years I've discovered a simple way to store all of your pastel, charcoal, coloured pencil, graphite and even watercolour artwork without any of these problems. I'm Kirsty Rebecca and I create drawing and painting tutorials that are easy to follow so that you can create realistic and professional artwork even if you're just starting out. I used to store my artwork in boxes with sheets of paper in between to try and stop them from smudging but as soon as the artwork moved around it would become messy. Then I switched to those display folders with plastic sleeves but I found that the dust from my charcoal or pastel drawings would actually stick to the plastic and smudge onto my work if I moved it in and out of the sleeve. Also if I had larger drawings neither of those two methods allowed me to store them very easily. So I came up with this solution that solves all of those problems. So there are two slightly different ways that I store my artwork depending on what it is. So for all of my small to medium sized drawings up to about A2 size, I actually use tracing paper pads and I literally slot my artwork between each sheet so that every drawing has its own protective sheet and it's not touching the other drawings. And this way they don't actually move around, unlike if you stored them loosely in a box with a sheet of paper in between. And I keep three different sized pads depending on the size of the artwork. You want to make sure that the tracing paper pad that you buy is acid free though, because some of the cheaper brands aren't and they could actually yellow your artwork over time. This method means that it's really easy to access your drawings if you sell them or you want to show people or you need to take them out for whatever reason. I keep these tracing paper pads flat in a drawer because if you keep them upright then the drawings may slide down and smudge. But I've been using this method and keeping them flat in a drawer for years and I've never had any problems. And by the way this drawer unit is the Alex drawer from Ikea if you wanted one for yourself. When it comes to artwork that is larger than those pads or if you like to work on thicker surfaces like the Clairefontaine pastel mat board which is sort of mounted to a thicker board you may not want to keep them in tracing paper pads because they have the potential to indent other artwork if they're pressed against it because of how rigid and thick the surface is. So for my larger works or thicker surfaces I actually just wrap them in some tracing paper or glassine. If you don't work very large very often, you can just tape tracing paper sheets together to create a piece that is as large as you need to. Or if you find yourself working larger quite often, you can actually buy large rolls of glassine where you can just cut that down to size to match the size of your artwork. And I literally wrap it up like a present. And then I store the larger pieces on top of a shelf in between some large foam sheets or thick cardboard so that they don't get damaged or I store the smaller, thicker surfaces in a drawer as well. If you've seen some of my wildlife artwork throughout this tutorial and you'd like to know my simple method for creating realistic fur with pastels, then this video in the top left goes through my process step by step. So click on that and I'll see you over there.